This is an RTV6 update working for you. I'm Lauren Casey and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. A dangerous police chase ending with a crash and a man in custody. This all started this morning when Metro Police were told about a stolen vehicle. A relative of the owner of that car spotted it and the officers began chasing the car near English and Bradley. The chase then hit I-65 northbound going through the split and onto I-70 east. That's when it ran off the road and crashed near Sherman Drive. That vehicle going down the embankment and the driver was ejected. That man is being treated at Eskenazi Hospital. Now to Hiring Hoosiers, the RTV6 initiative, working to connect you to jobs and to help you take your career to the next level. By 2020, there will be 1.4 million computer science related jobs available and only enough skilled grads to fill barely a quarter of that workforce. That's why Amazon created a long term approach to make sure more students have access to this education. So maybe someday they'll choose to have a career and have the tools to access a career in that field. This class at Pike High School is one of 23 Indiana schools that are or will be using the Amazon Future Engineer course this year. Amazon Future Engineer is a four part kindergarten to career program that's aimed at educating 10 million students from underprivileged and underrepresented communities each year to try computer science and coding. The Amazon Future Engineer program also provides kindergarten through eighth grade students with computer science education. For more information on how to get your child involved, you can head on over to HiringHoosiers.com. Todd. All right, Lauren, temperatures will be a little on the chilly side here this evening, but we're dry. That's the key word and the wind will not be as much of an issue. So if you're heading to the Pacers game, big game against the Milwaukee Bucks here this evening, you should be just fine. Now temperatures actually come up throughout the overnight hours. And that means we're in great shape for your Thursday forecast and your Valentine's Day. We start off partly cloudy. The clouds will increase throughout the day, but look at that high temperature all the way up to 48 degrees. Some locations tomorrow afternoon, especially south of Indianapolis, Lauren will be climbing up into the low 50s. Todd, thank you for more stories and weather you need to know. You can download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.